Hey guys and welcome back to Crafts by Caitlin 2022. This is so exciting, my first DIY video. For today's video, I'm actually using a ton of the brand new items that I'm finding out at my Dollar Tree right now. Some of these are just brand new items and some of them are for Valentine's Day, but I want to recreate these into gorgeous home decor projects that are very easy to do, but will really vamp up your space and make it look really pretty. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It really helps me out here on YouTube. Make sure you are subscribed. I have a ton of brand new content coming your way and you don't wanna miss that. But let's go ahead and jump on into crafting. Okay, so whenever I found these at the Dollar Tree, I was so excited. I knew that all three of these signs could make some adorable like kitchen signs that I could make over. So you'll have to stay tuned um, throughout the whole video to see how I did the other two signs because there was three different ones that I found at my store. But for this first one that had the like indented rolling pin, I was dying to make that over. So first I sanded it down to get all the words off and then I wanted to write my own words on there put my own saying so I was sharing, sharing with you that you can use rub-on transfers or stickers but I actually peeled off this love word out of one of the signs that I'm going to be making over anyways I did go ahead and repaint the white and you can't even tell that I sanded this down to create a new sign I am losing my voice, so you'll have to bear with me. But on this sign, um, I wanted to put the love sign on there, but it wouldn't fit at the bottom. And I was wanting to put baked with love or a cute little quote on here. So I actually ended up turning this sign upside down. Now I did struggle a little bit and figured out some things what not to do. So be sure that you don't do everything that I do on this project. But I sanded the white back down just to make sure everything would blend back in. And this is the part I struggled with. I tried to pull the little stand off of the back so that I could re attach it upside down. I completely forgot about the little rolling pin being cut out so I took my hammer and was just trying to reattach it and it busted all the way through. So I didn't have any plans on covering up that rolling pin at all. I thought it was gorgeous like the wood color as is. So if I made another one um, then I wouldn't have hammered it. I would have glued it or figured out a way to put a different stand on this but I did not want to waste this sign so I thought that I would try to cover covered up a little bit so I went ahead with the original plan and just decorated this as I wanted to. These little black rub-on transfers are one of my favorite items that Dollar Tree carries so I tried to space them out. I ended up with too big of a space in the middle so I just found like a random little house. I was going to use a heart but I thought this was really cute so I put that in the middle and just put it down on there. It was gold. I did trace over that with a silver metallic marker but I do end up going over it with black Black later on but then I had the genius idea to cover up all of that cracked mess in the middle of my rolling pin I took some of Dollar Tree's vinyl that they have in this black and white gingham pattern and just pressed it down in there with my exacto knife or Cricut knife I pulled away any excess but I love how easy this was because I knew there was no way I was going to be able to fit scrapbooking paper in there or cut it to the right shape but this worked perfect and I was able to trim away all of the excess but just filled in that little house and I was so happy with the outcome. I really struggled on this one, but I wanted to share with you not all of my projects always go exactly as planned, but the end result, it still is a gorgeous sight and so cute to make this over for just a dollar. Next up, I found these gorgeous little shadow boxes and you actually can like pull out the little plexiglass and it's two pieces of like plastic or plexiglass, whatever you want to call it. And there's kind of like this heart paper sandwich in between there. There's a couple of different designs. So I thought this would be really cute to turn these into like Polaroid pictures. So I know if it was an exact Polaroid, you can spray paint the whole frame to be white or the same color as the bottom, but I thought it was cute just to put them on stand. So I took a piece of Dollar Tree's wood and cut that down with my hand saw just so it fit the frame exact and then I painted these white and they're going to elevate these little frames and I want to kind of make them scrappy looking a little bit so kind of like a scrapbook page or just like a mini little collage these would make great valentine gifts I just made some for myself and my little girls love whenever I make cute things like this to put in their room but um, I printed out some pictures off of my computer just super super 
super tiny little thumbnail size pictures and glued those to the heart. So I am using the original hearts that come in between there. And then Dollar Tree has so many rub-on designs and patterns. So I love whenever they kind of like mash a bunch of words into these sheets and then you can just kind of pick what you want. So picking out some little hearts and random little words, I just decorated this really, really cute and something that I can display out for Valentine's Day, but actually keep this out all year if you wanted to. I just think it is a really cute idea. And then so the bottom wasn't plain, I did add like a bigger word down there. I love these metallic gold ones. They just are super shiny and perfect for Valentine's Day, but really dress this up and love how these turned out. Like I said, I also did one for my daughters. Um, I thought it was really cute with the Be Mine, the pink heart. I put a couple of pictures on there and then just some random words. I put sweet and love and the little gold hearts, but I think this is adorable. I could see this being like really cute gift ideas to that special someone or, or even some friends, but just loved how these turned out. Okay, so a really cool hack, and um, I picked up one of these Dollar Tree signs, and while I love all things neutral and plain, I really wanted to dress this up, give it an extra touch, so a really fun hack that I've been seeing out in all of the stores is like a subtle border, so super, super subtle. It's not on the front. You're not even going to notice it unless you're kind of to the side, but this makes a huge impact, especially if you are going to be like layering up the same color or kind of keeping a lot of neutrals, so you can just pick any style that you want. I am picking this scrapbooking paper that I already had. It's kind of like a navy gingham print or buffalo check print. And I'm just tracing the edges out. I fold that over so that I can double it. And then um, I am gluing this to the side. So adding a ton of just my stick glue. Super, super easy elementary. All I did was glue this on the sides. And like I said, it makes a huge impact. You could easily like have done like pink or red for Valentine's Day. I have already already been decorating for Valentine's Day and putting out a ton of stuff so I wanted to make something that um, was a little bit like could last longer in the year so I thought this was perfect and I love the blue it was super popular last year I think it's going to be super popular this year and it just like I said just super super easy putting this around the edges you can trim off any excess um, super simple you wouldn't even have to put this on the bottom but look how gorgeous that is setting in front of other decor I just feel like it really makes it pop Okay, so these were brand new out at My Dollar Tree, and it is this huge metal hook. Super inexpensive for a dollar. I am pairing this with one of Dollar Tree's like scalloped wood pieces. How easy is this? All you have to do is take some chalk paint or any paint of your choice and paint the wood piece. I ended up uh, distressing down the edges and then putting the hook on top of this, and it even comes with its own screw. So this is so easy to put together, but something that you can not only decorate with, but is super useful. I ended up making two of these at the same time, um, just identical to each other and trying to get them distressed the same. And I'm actually going to kind of put them by my bedroom and make them kind of like a his and hers. So if we want to hang our robes on there or maybe a towel, but just screwing in these screws at the top and the bottom, like I said, it comes with the screws and everything. So this literally costs it two bucks minus the paint. If your Dollar Tree is at a dollar and 25 cents now, this would be two dollars and 50 cents. But um, you all are going to get tired of hearing us say that and justify every single thing that we purchase. But all of my stores are still just a dollar. But love how these turned out. Super cute. And like I say, super useful. I am already hanging my robe on there and it's easy just to go and grab it off of here. I definitely needed these hooks. 
These heart stands were new to me and I thought it would be fun to make like a cake plate mini candle holder but I didn't want to cover up the heart so I had this fun idea to glue a clearish candle plate to this instead of just like a normal white plate and I think it's really cool that you're able to see that heart through the top. So for timing purposes I am using hot glue I know I say this a ton you're able to see the hot glue through the top so I feel like if you have a little bit of extra time you could use super glue or e6000 and get more of like a clear look so you don't have the hot glue but since I'd already committed to the hot glue I decided to go around it just to blend in anything that is kind of coming out of the sides plus I feel like it would give it a stronger hold but this took like five minutes or less and I love the outcome of it. To dress this up a tiny bit more, I am using some of this pom-pom ribbon. Now this is left over from Christmas. I'm not sure if it's just a Christmas item, but um, it does have that green crafter square label on there, so I'm guessing probably so. But I glued this around the edges and I just feel like it give it more of like a whimsical, fun look and something that I can put out for Valentine's Day. But once again, also something really, really cute that would go cute in like an office or my daughter's room. But love how this pom-pom just kind of hangs around the edges and whenever you put a candle on there, it really dresses it up. Okay, so to the second sign of these this three sign series, I didn't make all of these like coordinate together. So don't expect that. The last one I actually end up turning into a Valentine sign. But for this one, I thought this little whisk was adorable. Too cute not to turn into a really fun kitchen sign that I can keep out all year. So I go ahead and sand away the watch me whip words and make sure that I get all of that off and paint it white. And then I'm actually turning to my Cricut Joy. You could use letters or stickers or transfers or anything anything that Dollar Tree has, but sometimes it's fun just to cut out a custom label. So I cut out Made With Love and just stuck this on here. The sign literally took like five minutes to put together other than the paint drying time, but I feel like it gave it a complete makeover and something super cute and more my style. I felt like the whisk looked a little bit plain and I know sometimes like being minimal is best but I still love bows so if that's not your style leave it off but I just made a super easy uh, twine bow that I stuck in there and I just love it 10 times more I think it is so adorable I did take a lighter and kind of singe off all the excess and then took just the tiniest amount of glue that I could to just hold the tails in place Whenever I saw this forever and always sign at the Dollar Tree, I knew it could be made over into like a cute, like romantic sign for the bedroom or for Valentine's Day, that's fine. But I just feel like it's something really cute. Forever and always is something that my, me and my husband always say, and I know it's super popular on like signs for your bedroom or... I don't know. So I thought it was really cute. So I picked it up. I didn't like the three hearts on the sides. So I did take a razor blade or utility knife and cut those away. Some of it did break off, but that was completely fine. I ended up just sanding it down. Um, none of my letters were really broken. So just liked how it turned out. I painted it with this mineral tan color. And then later on, I will be kind of going over the edges because I did feel like it was a little bit hard to read. You could turn over any Dollar Tree sign, but I love mixing it up. I picked up one of these little palette signs, very inexpensive from Walmart. So that is what I'm putting my forever and always on. I painted this white, trying not to get it perfect, just distressing this a little bit, but I feel like this was the perfect base. And I love to mix it up, like I said, not always having to paint like solid signs. Sometimes it's difficult to get that like barnwood look or shiplap look. So this was already all spaced out and had a lot of texture in the background. I glued down the 
forever and always. Also added in a clothespin because I thought it would be really fun to hang a photo from the side. So that's what I ended up doing it. But like I mentioned, I felt like it was really hard to read, especially after I painted it. It was all blending together. So I did take my Sharpie and kind of go around the edges. I was trying to make it look super cute. So you have to let me know if I should have done the Sharpie or if I should have left it off because I don't know. I feel like it was hard to read and this kind of helps it out. It's a little bit easier to make out what the words say faster, I feel like, with the Sharpie around the edges, but added in a cute photo and you could really dress this up for any space. Okay, so let me know if you made it to recreating the last sign. This one had this cute little cupcake or muffin tin on the bottom. Once again, sanding this down and painting it white. And I really wanted to make like a Valentine cupcake. So I thought that would be adorable and make it different from the two other signs because those are signs that I can use every day. But this is something I can get out and decorate with for Valentine's Day. So painted it this white. And then I was trying to think of how I could use some pink frosting to make this look like Valentine's. So Dollar Tree actually had out some cardstock in different colors. So chose a pink Dollar Tree cardstock piece and then cut this down. I was going to cut out like a cute little swirl at the top but remembered I wanted to glue a heart for kind of like the cherry on top and then hot glued all of this down and I feel like this pink looks so cute with the little metal tin at the bottom. Dollar Tree is always putting out these little 3D like laser cut pieces so I put that towards the bottom and then I felt like the cupcake was super plain so just going in with a marker and adding in a few extra details to look like sprinkles and extra just something around the edges but I think this turned out super cute. I had so much fun putting these projects together. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you are subscribed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!